Kia ora guys, Jacko here with Woody. We're just down at our local at uh, Monte Cecilia. We're just going to do another flight preview with the Takapu PA3. Uh, we're just going to run through Strata, Magma, Cosmic Atomic and then some glows. Get some throws out. Just show you guys, you know, just give you a little flight preview pretty much. See how they throw. Um, so far from like tests and stuff, they're super smooth out the hand. Lots of glide, so we're pretty we're pretty stoked with the results. So we'll get something on film if you haven't tried them already, and um, get you something to go off. Uh, this this one in my hand that I'm about to throw first is a Strata, so it's our baseline plastic. They've all come out in consistent shapes, nice flat top, a little round shoulder, obviously beadless, six stamp. This one's 173 grams, so we'll, we'll give it a whirl, see how she throws, and uh, go out go through the range. We've got a bit of a, we've got a bit of a crosswind, so a bit of a bit of a headwind, right to left slightly. So we'll we'll just get it on a little bit of hydra and see see what she does. So that's the Strata. So that, that I, I released that on hydra, and with the right to left wind, it actually held its angle the whole way, which is pretty nice. So with our with our magma range, we've got a we've got a soft version, a medium version, and a hard version. So I'll, I'll run through soft through soft medium through hard. There's not a big difference in the uh, stabilities. It's just personal preference on the on the feel. So I'll throw the soft one. We're throwing slightly uphill. I'll throw the medium on a on a slight ante, see how see how it pans out. And this one's a hard one. It's a nice, uh, nice smoky, swirly, cosmic 170 grams. So I've got three here. This one, this one's in my bag at the moment. This is one I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna commit to. We've got a 173 gram atomic, and one of the hard the hard yellow ones out of the first run, that'll be exclusive to the first run. Fairly stable. I'll throw Annie on this. We'll give it a bit of a, a, bit of a pump. So much wow. So we've got the uh, glow Takapu here. These are these are typically coming out in a in a heavier weights, like 173 through 175. Um, of course, approved to 176. So if you nab one of these, one of those, it'll be probably the most stable throw you'll find. So we'll give these a whirl. It's probably we'll get a few more coming down the hill as well, but um, yeah, we'll check out. We'll see how stable these are. Yeah, so far for me, you know, with a few field shots and, and a couple of rounds, you know, for an upshot disc, um, putting aside, it's just super reliable. It's really hits the line, fades back. You can also get a bit of ante on it. It'll push it and then fade back. So I've um, really in my bag, it's going to make my first one a bit redundant on some shots. Just, just got too much of that reliability. 
Uh, there's some shots of that Ruru will always come in. And, um, you know, my other favourite is the Kotuku. So, you know, in many ways, it's a... Compliment? It's a, it's a, it's a real classic Ruru slash Kotuku replacement with, with less stability than a Kotuku, which is super reliable. And for me, who um, is not playing too much, I think, the upshots are absolutely critical, so this is going to be, hold a really massive role in my bag. Yeah, so just after a few uh, few throws in the field there, um, I've, I've had a few rounds and you know, we've done some testing, of course, to come up with the numbers and whatnot. But after, after those throws there, the soft magma, I was quite surprised how stable that was. There's a bit more overstable finish than I'd, than I'd predict, so that was, that was cool, that's a good addition. Um, like as Woody was saying, it's it's going to be a crucial disc for those upshots. It's just with the beadless one, you know, we've got the Tui, which is on the high spectrum of speed for putters, putt and approach, and we've got the Ruru, which is you know that blunter nose and a bit slower. This just sits bang in the middle, and it's just so smooth out the hand. I'm really impressed by the glide. Like a, f a few of those I threw down the hill got away on me and went a little deeper than I was kind of planning for. Um, so it's just awesome to see the glide. I'm sure you'll see it in the in the shots we threw, and uh, pin pinpoint placement. Just just a consistent a consistent flight that you can rely on to, to do what you know what you want. As they beat in too, you become more familiar with the flights and, and whatnot. And um, it's yeah, our lineup needed it, so it's going to be a really nice disc to uh, to, to go in your bag to complement your game. No matter what kind of level you're at, it'll you'll find a spot for it for sure. So the, the grip is really nice on the Strata. The, our baseline, it's, it's, like, it's like a new refreshed blend. So it's super smooth, super grippy in the wet as well. Clean putters, clean putters. And then the Magma, of course, being a bit more of a rubber blend, super grippy as well. Even the hards, even some of the harder stuff is, is, is nice and grippy, which I personally prefer for my putter. So just super stoked, and then the medium sits in the middle with the same amount of grip, of course. The strata, the strata is all stiff, so no um, softness variation in the strata. I mean, Marty's converted to strata butter. Mm, yeah. I think we'll see that. I think we'll see some people just enjoying that strata a little bit more. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. And the cosmic and atomic is doing what they should. Nice, nice stable throwers. Durable, grippy. Good stability and obviously a, a longer a longer lifespan with that that fresh out the box stability being the the premium sort of plastic and the glows of course the glows are uh, pretty damn stable being that you know two or three grams heavier it's really really noticeable so you may find these are going to be the most stable throws for those that like a like to throw putters hard um, yeah super super stoked with the results I think we nailed this one. Um, yeah, so for me personally, I've, I've made the transition from the hard magma tui over to the hard magma takapu. Um, so I'm going to give, give, give this a go. Um, it's similar to what I used to putt with maybe five, six years ago. So I think I'll take, take a little bit of adjustment with the timing out the hand and uh, yeah, give it a good crack. I'm just liking that little bit of extra stability on the end of the flight, especially outside eight metres, nine, ten, you know, front of circle two, etc. So I'm just really loving the, the feel, super smooth out the hand and just excited and refreshed on the putting green. So it's going to be fun to, to work these in. Uh, yeah, so there's a bit of a Takapu field sesh with uh, Woody and I. Um, hopefully you got some idea of how they fly. Pretty stable, lots of glide, pretty quick actually. So a few uphill shots, a few downhill shots, a couple of, couple of forehands thrown in there. Be a bit, a bit better for touch forehands, out of trouble, etc and obviously a dedicated putter which is its main its main main job but yeah uh, flight numbers two three zero two and i think that's pretty accurate from what we've what we've, uh, what we've done today and what you'll see on the on the vid let us know let us know in the comments and stuff if you've thrown one already check it check you know give us some feedback let us know how you're doing and yeah be interesting to see how many people make the switch or or add one to the arsenal already so yeah cheers guys